Hi, this is Holmes, Sherlock and Mycroft. This is a game from De Vere, and I'll try and pronounce it correctly. It's by Diego Ibanez, and it's a game set for two players. It's a two-player, I would call it worker placement set collection game with this beautiful board, The Diary of Dr. Watson, The Adventures of the Holmes Brothers. And the aim of the game is to try and find the most relevant clues, or clues in total, I guess, that um, you have, can discover using your detective uh, abilities. So what we're doing is we're representing some of the gang that help Dr. Watson and Sherlock Holmes and uh, anybody else affiliated from 221B Baker Street. And uh, this game, just whilst I'm getting out the pieces, is uh, about half an hour, about 40 minutes, something like that. And there are lots of games on the IP with, with Sherlock Holmes. Let's chuck them back in the box. So a nice small little box, and the inside of the lid actually has um, information about the artist as well as the designer, on different sides, so that's quite cool on the inside of that. You're going to have three pieces each. So let's say this person's orange, we're blue, and you're going to lay out some cards. Now the top row up here are specific to the... Um, the board, they are always going to be there. So we have Mrs. Hudson, which you might recall the name. We've also got this symbology here telling you what they represent. You're going to have Dr. Watson, and you're going to have Inspector Lestrade. The rest you're going to put down here, so I'll grab those for a moment. Now, just as I'm doing this, I'll explain that um, the you've also got Sherlock, Watson, uh, Sherlock Holmes, which is a separate thing, and Moriarty, which, or sorry, Mycroft, which you can use um, as a variant, which we're not going to play with right now. So you're going to have a stack of these cards here. These represent the basically different um, people that can help us throughout the seven days. It's a seven day or a seven round game. And one by one, you're going to take turns placing out one of these guys. You're going to take some tokens out each. You take five initially. The rest will use as a kind of common pool. And then you're going to be placing out these clue markers. These clue markers represent different things. There's Sebastian Moran. That's another thing that you can use kind of as a variant. So let's leave it in shot like that. I think it's quite nice. Okay, so you're going to have four cards that are going to be visible. These are clue cards that you could take. So these are not too well shuffled. There's Moriarty as well. So that's, again, another variant, something you can do. So lots of options. Let's move this across a bit, and I want to lay these cards to the side. So let's do it this way. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the idea of the game is to try and collect sets and be the person who has the majority in those sets or have them outright. So in this case, you could try and get one of these cards. If you have the most at the end of the game, you're gonna have at least three of them potentially. You're not gonna necessarily go through the entire deck. Then you're gonna gain five points. Now, if your opponent has got one of these cards, so you've got four, they've got one, or you've got three or two, then you're going to get five points minus whatever your opponent's got. So you're going to get only four points in this case. If you had three and they had two, you're going to get five minus two is three points. This is another game I'd love to do as a playthrough. So as an example, this is a wild card. You can use it whenever you want and you can assign it to something. So suddenly you've got two fives, which means you're already closer to probably now wanting this, which means somebody else might want to take that to make sure that you're not giving them any more to your score. It's kind of a net difference. So by giving them that card or them taking that card, they are not only taking a point of view, but not giving a point to yourself. This is a map card. This is a special kind of card. If you have one, you get minus one. One, you get one, three, six, and 10. So you're trying to get all of them. And if you get all of one type, then you get a three point bonus. So you can't use these. But if you have five of these uh, cigarette butts, then you're going to get five points plus an additional three. So how do you get cards? So we're going to start laying out the first day one cards. OK, let me explain what these do. So you have these tokens down here. These are your resources. You can use these to do things. So if I start, you take it and place it face down. I'm going to pay three tokens, three markers, three um, magnifying glasses to the supply and draw three cards. 
you take one. So what I might do is actually keep moving this up because I don't think I need to see too much of it. Place one here. So that's my, oops, that's my uh, card. I'm going to then replace it and probably take it again. So now it said I'm working on getting that set. Now it's their turn. So they can see I've only got two tokens left. So lots of options available. I could just do one. So I might just do one here and take that one here. So they take that one. And again, it goes face down. So they spend that, goes back to supply. Should you keep gathering from here, you can eventually monopolize and take all of them. So then this person that gets replaced. So now it's my turn. I'm going to um, go here, spending one. I can't go to where I've already been. So that's resting. I take that card. And now it's their turn. I think they take two. So they take this one. Now, these wild ones, you don't have to assign rights now. But if you don't assign it by the end of the game, you've lost three points. So they could just choose to not assign it. And now we replace two more cards. Okay. It goes up to nine. Nine's the highest. So nine is the points value, but also the amount of them. Now I'm going to go, I've got, I've got one token left, I've got very little else to do, but I might just show you this as an example because it's a special card. Von Kram. I get to take a card. So um, that cost me nothing, that's interesting. Yeah, this could be interesting to go for, but I'm going to take this one. And they're going to follow suit. They're going to spend one, and they get to take a card from the draw stack. And I think it stays... Um, Goes face up, it could be kept hidden. It might well be kept hidden. But the point being is now they're working on eights. And now this gets replaced as well. So that ends day one. What happens next is you stand everyone up. This shows that they've been spent a day there. They can't go back there this day or until someone else has moved off it. Now, when there are two people on any card other than these top three cards, this person has seen too many guests, or too many visitors, he gets flipped over. So these guys come back. You then draw a new day. So this is the round two. Round two player starts. There's no round marker actually, I've noticed. It's interesting. So um, to see who's the first player. Now in this case, we have Langdale Pike. And you can spend one token to draw one from the deck or you can choose to spend two tokens, draw two from the deck and draw one, or three from the deck and draw and keep one. The other two gets discarded face down. So it's their turn. Um, they can't go here straight away. They're already there. They can't go there. They've got one piece of map token. They might want some more. They've got some clue tokens. Um, what they're gonna choose to do is move this off, which means you can then activate it again and just grab five tokens. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's my turn. I'm just gonna go here for one, place it face down, draw one card, that's that. Again, that might be face down, but if you're getting the hang in the game, you'll see if you like it or not. And then it's their turn. Now they're now thinking, well, they freed up the space. So now they could do this and pay three, one, two, three. And now they can take two cards. And they're going to take these ones. Because all you need is three of them, and you're getting three points and an additional three because you haven't stopped somebody else from getting something. So they've gone up there. These get replaced. And we've got these. And now it's Blue's turn. So that's been still, that hasn't moved yet. Um, I feel like I hadn't pushed him down. I think I should have done. Now what I want to do is send him over here, but I can't. So that's annoying. He's going to go here and get three. Oh no, it's a yellow's turn. Uh, orange's turn. So he's just going to get, draw one from the deck. He's just going to spend one. And keep that. And now it's my turn. I get three. So that's the game progresses. So this doesn't flip because there weren't two people on it. This comes back 
Blue becomes first player. We've got another thing to go with, Violet Hunter. What she lets you do is swap cards between you and the center. Additionally, we've got other characters in here, such as Billy, which means depending on the day, you can spend that amount of that day, so it's like five tokens to kind of swap cards. Toby um, is sort of similar in terms of letting you swap cards based on the amount of, um, basically lets you acquire these. So if I've got four different sets, then I activate Toby, I get four of these markers. We've got our Iron Adler. So again, depending on the day, you can spend that amount of markers to um, take a card. And we've got Inspector Gregson. You can spend two tokens to take one of these, four to take two, six to take three. The different thing is you're trying to balance between getting cards and getting resources to get the cards and trying to get the best things possible, making sure that you're playing them in the right kind of order. And that's the key crux of the game. Scoring is very close after all this. I mean, the amount of times you cancel each other out with certain um, certain cards, it's uh, quite interesting because it's better to try and cancel somebody out than if you've got a lower scoring thing and stopping them. So the minute we'd cancel each other out, I'd get seven, um, I'd get four, and I'd get five minus one. So I'd get four there, they'd get three points, they'd get eight points, and they'd get minus one. So there's a bit of a swing in that kind of score, but yesterday the score was eight, uh, to, eight to nine, so I lost eight to nine points. I found that um, as a two-player game goes, I think this is very good. I give this game a seven out of 10. I do like the art to work as well. I like the board. Uh, the playing time is good. Um, tricky to work out who's going to win until the end. So it does keep you kind of quite compelled. Uh, the orange and blue meeples are good. Very kind of classic Carcassonne looking meeples. Having said that, you know, could they have done something more? I think even painting something on them, I think is possible. You can buy something that requires them like that. The board's very nice. You don't need the boards. And I must say massive kudos and thank you to uh, Devere for actually providing me with this board because we lost ours. It's in the pub, lent it to somebody, and then they lost the board. So um, it took years to go back bringing uh, games because, uh, yeah, worried about losing things. So it was at the UK Games Expo 2017, I believe, that I uh, happened to be there. And it was a Saturday afternoon. And I said, oh, excuse me, please, can um, I have a board? We, we've lost ours. I did email them directly, they're based in Barcelona, and they hadn't replied. Just to let you know, these cards do, when they flip, they are identical, just to show you that they're the top section. So easy to sort out. And um, yeah, so that was really good of them. It's obviously, you don't need that size box when you're playing with a board. Obviously when they gave us it, they didn't have a spare copy, I don't believe of the game at the time, but uh, you can see you don't need the board, it's not essential. So you could carry out a pack of cards and the meeples, you could probably just use coins as well. Uh, if we do need to shuffle these cards because of the set collection nature. Even though that score can be nine and eight, I think I've seen negative scores. Actually, you haven't seen negative scores? Maybe not. I think I've seen scores around like 31 before, but that's, it can be a massive swing. Uh, but generally speaking, especially as you play more and more with somebody, you're gonna find it is quite close. Um, so that is, you know, a very good Sherlock game. As, as Sherlock games go, in terms of the theme, um, it again, I don't mind too much about theme. I think it works. Um, moving around, checking where people go, it seems to do the job. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. I would say it takes just over half an hour. And um, as you can see, it's pretty quick to set up as well, and even to explain. Keen to do a two-player playthrough because I think that's going to fit quite nicely in the time. And if, uh, just whilst I'm getting the weights sorted out, if you haven't supported and subscribed, please do so. If you uh, like it, please hit the like button. And finally, there's a spare bag here. If you have any comments or anything else, please check the description as well. I think this is for the cards. Um, more videos coming soon. So hopefully you'll like this and others coming along. But this is a nice height box as well. This is the same kind of height as I think Seven Wonders Jewel, uh, I think King Domino, Five Minute Chase. That's, these are all videos that I've put on um, the channel. And that all goes in nicely. And we're looking forward to playing this game again. It's a nice discovery. So that was 
Holmes, Sherlock and Mycroft 2015 from Devere and it's also um, available with I think seven other publishers so it's going around the bits and the designer actually owns a board game cafe in uh, Castillon and it's 374 grams very light obviously for this size game and um, that box as you can see and thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your day bye bye